Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. This one, guys, I'm going to show you how to share assets. Basically, how to work and collaborate with colleagues or people across the internet or basically anybody really that has a Adobe Creative Cloud basic subscription. So let's just get right into this, guys. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. I've opened up a blank document. I haven't even titled it yet. It's called Untitled. And I just put some random ass picture right in the middle there just so we can do some demonstration stuff. And I'll move it a little to the left. Sure, let's go with that. All right, guys. So for you, if you want to follow along, just file new. Create any size document. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to create the first one here. Boom. Create it. All right. We're in business. The next step, and this is where it gets a little more interesting, sorry, is we want to go to the libraries panel. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. You want to basically go up to window, drop it down, and when you see libraries, left click on it. Boom. <laughs> nice and easy. All right. Now, the next step is I'm going to use this brochure library. But as you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of libraries that I've created, which is standard. All good in the hood. But for you guys, go ahead and select any library. And if you don't have a library, don't even worry about it. You can just go ahead and create a library. But anyways, if you've got a library like this one, I'm just going to drag and drop this in like I did on the last one. And let's put it right here. Okay, we got some content. We're in business. Now, the next step, if you want to get right into the collaboration component, which is what we're looking to do, you'll see this hamburger menu in libraries at the top right here. There's four bars across. Basically, you want to left click on that and you want to go ahead and collaborate or share link. These are the two different ways you can do this. Let's click on share link first. I'm going to left click on that and it's going to take me to my browser like it does. And bang, it says assets to adobe.com, a big goofy link up there. But what's happening here is in the browser, it's created the library. So if I just close this, which I'll do, actually, no, I won't do that. I'll show you first off here is that this is the link you're looking for. So if you have somebody that you want to work on a project with or you want to work on an asset with of some sort, you can sh copy this link, send it to them, and you're in business. Now, you'll also look here underneath, you got two check boxes that allow follow. So any Creative Cloud user with this link can follow your library, which is cool, but you don't have to do that. And also allow any Creative Cloud user with this link to save a copy <laughs> of your library to their account, which is, I don't know, and edit it. This seems a little bit dodgy because, I mean, if you if you buy assets and then you work on them, then theoretically you could be giving them away free. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works too much, but anyways, um, that's how that works. So I'll go ahead and create it back to public. And again, guys, I'm going to unclick that, but there you go. So we can just put in here is the link. Wow, well, whatever is the link. Uh, let's just call this library uh, lady on iPad, whatever. OK, we'll save it. That is the first way to do it. And you can send them the, the link, like I said, and you're on your way to the rodeo. The second step, and this is probably the one that you'll want to use more often. So we're going to go back up here to that little four bar thingy dingy, uh, the hamburger menu. We're going to go to collaborate, stop, collaborate and listen. Yeah. If you're from the nineties, you know what I just did there. All right, guys. And I'm not even sorry. So here we go. All right. We're back in and we're in the collaborate. And this is a little different because now you can, you can send them the collaboration option through email. So let's just say, you know, I want to send it to curtis.pike at yahoo.ca. All right, I would invite them. I would click on the invite. And well, that's me, right? So that's no good. So I'll send it to Curtis, Curtis at oops, gmail com. Click invite. And then here you'll see that this person, whoever that is, that might be me, has been invited. Not only that, you'll see that they have the edit and the view option in the top right side there. It says Curtis Pike via Adobe Creative Cloud has invited you to collaborate on this document, guys. This is how you can work with people remotely. You can work with other people that if you're a YouTuber and you're making assets and you want to share with somebody that's in Timbuktu, this is how you do it, guys. Boom. That's it for this tutorial. Actually, one more thing. Actually, while I got you here, let's see. You know, we're working on this one here. You'll see if I go down to the library and it's rendered here inside my browser. If I drop that little triangle down, I can also send the link. I can make a copy or I can move it around too. So there's a little bit more there for you, but that's how you do it guys. Thanks for watching this illustrator tutorial. I got way more stuff coming up. I'll be back soon with some more stuff. Cheers. Bye-bye.